Hello, my name is Blake Patterson, and welcome to Afro Reviews. Since this is the week of its 40th anniversary, I am examining Steven Spielberg's E.T. the Extraterrestrial. In my top 10 ranking of Spielberg's movies, I mention how significant E.T. is for me as a person and a cinephile. Watching a great Spielberg movie as a child is like listening to a grandfather's stories about adventure and wonder. They are magical experiences I cherish. In terms of his science fiction films, E.T. is a spiritual successor to the brilliant Close Encounters of the Third Kind, at the end of Close Encounters, we met and saw the aliens from outer space. The 1977 film played into themes of the unknown, paranoia, and belief. Now, E.T. places focus on the idea of an unlikely friendship between a boy and an alien. E.T. the Extraterrestrial is one of the most magical experiences ever because of its allegorical narrative and Spielberg's childlike sensibilities. What is so beautiful and ingenious about E.T. is how the central friendship can represent anyone. There are artistic choices where a viewer can think deeper about its ideas. Melissa Matheson's narrative choices are reminiscent of Franz Kafka's The Metamorphosis because both authors only expect people to gather their interpretations of the stories. People could interpret E.T. as a religious film about a boy's connection to a spiritual entity in a time of crisis, or as an immigrant story about two very different beings exhibiting a sense of mutual compassion. These are two ideas one could gain from watching this film, but E.T. could be a metaphor for numerous subjects. Due to how rare this storytelling choice is, one should appreciate it when this kind of narrative occurs. In terms of directors in history, there is not a single artist who can match Spielberg's skills with children. What is even more remarkable is how Spielberg can capture the inner child in every adult with his best work. Spielberg can also, more than likely, direct a wonderful performance from a child actor. In this case, Henry Thomas's portrayal of a small-town boy, Elliot, is one of innocence, an encapsulation of joy and heartbreak. Of the child performances in history, Thomas's Elliot ranks with Natalie Wood's Susan Walker and Tatum O'Neill's Addie Loggins. The other young performers are effective in this movie too, but Thomas's performance requires more motivation. When Elliot experiences adventures with E.T., Spielberg executes them with not just joy, but pure love for filmmaking and the wondrous nature of childhood. From the first flight to the escape scene, E.T. is truly an awe-inspiring experience in how Spielberg builds each set piece with John Williams's heavenly score. Reflecting on Spielberg's career, E.T. the Extraterrestrial is a part of a spiritual trilogy where the filmmaker examines the social outcast from different angles. It would take several years for Spielberg to create his ultimate expression of universal heartache and longing thanks to Stanley Kubrick. From close encounters to AI, audiences recognize a filmmaker who is evolving with the times and how he responds to science fiction in the contemporary era. Still, E.T. is more than a film of its era. It is a timeless work of human empathy. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night.